Well, it's the end of July. Uh, the reading year is more than half over. Where does time go? Uh, so I feel like for the most of this year so far, I, I've been stuck uh, with uh, one book here, Journey to the West, Volume 3, which I am enjoying, but is uh, just a book that really just goes on and on. Uh, you know, tune into my weekly reading vlogs to see my updates on this. Uh, after Volume 3, I still have Volume 4 left. Uh, and then uh, reading stuff for professional development. So uh, the Linguistic Wars, which I'm kind of counting as professional development because it's about languages, uh, how to teach listening, how to teach for exams, getting things done. Uh, and I haven't really gotten in the variety of reading that I wanted, that I've been wanting to get in this year, but I'm going to try and do that now. So now that uh, getting things done is done, checked off my reading list, uh, I'm going to try and slot in some more easy reads uh, on my weekly reading. I, uh, Journey to the West, I'm, I'm still going to keep going, but I'm going to slow down on this one, maybe. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll again, uh, I'm going to finish this one up because uh, I'm over halfway through and it is for professional development. But uh, I'm going to try and knock off some quick reads. Uh, and this looks like a very quick and easy read. Uh, a children's book, uh, Harriet the Spy. So I talked about this book uh, when I bought it about a year ago. Uh, I'll see if I can find that video and link to it down below. I bought it on Book Street here in Vietnam at a used bookstore. Um, and uh, I'll try and link to my video on Book Street down below. Um, and I, as I think I mentioned in that video, I think I was exposed to Harriet the Spy in elementary school. I don't really remember it clearly, un unlike some of the other children's books I've talked about on this channel. Uh, this, this one is a little bit foggy in the memory, but it's certainly, I, I mean, I know I heard the name. Uh, of course, it's, it's, it's a classic children's book, so the name is everywhere. It looks very familiar. Of course, these kind of uh, pencil drawings uh, were quite popular in older children's books, so it's the kind of style that would, might look familiar even if you haven't read it. Um, I was flipping through it just now, and there was, yeah, there was one quote here when it, there, he's talking about school. Um, are you looking forward to school? Not particularly. Mr. Wells put the paper down and looked at his daughter. Do you like school? No, said Harriet. I always hated it, said Mr. Welsh, and went back behind the paper. Dear, you mustn't say things like that. I rather liked it. That is when I was 11. This passage here, I know I... I know I read or had read to me, I don't remember, back in elementary school. Because I, re I remember thinking it was the first time in a book I, I, heard, I heard it admitted that an adult would say, no, they, they, they didn't like school when they were a kid. Uh, I, 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 always, you know, I always felt guilty for not liking school when I was a kid because I thought, ah, oh, you know, you're supposed to like school. I'm here every day anyways. I'm, I might as well like it. But I just find it so boring. And then in, in this part of the, the, all the adults around me were always like trying to give the image that you should like school. So I, the, the, when, when Harriet's dad said, oh, he always hated school as a kid. Uh, that's something that, that stuck in my memory. Now, I, I don't even remember if we finished the whole book. I think it must have been read to us at some point, maybe third grade or fourth grade or something like that. Probably we finished it. Uh, but at any rate, uh, obviously my, my memories of this are very hazy. I've got some sort of loose nostalgia for it, but I don't really remember it. Um, we'll, we'll see as I read through it. You know, sometimes when you read something, stuff comes rushing back to you. We'll see, we'll see if that happens with this book. Uh, there's another passage I have in mind, which I remember from childhood, where this girl is kind of like 
eavesdropping at a restaurant and, and trying to guess what the people are like based on their conversations. And I was flipping through, I remember that, but I don't, from childhood, but I don't remember if it's from this book. I was flipping through it just now and couldn't find it. Um, but yeah, I don't want to flip through it too much because I want to actually sit down and read the thing as much as possible. Um, so anyways, I, I picked this book up about a year ago. It's, it's uh, been on my shelf ever since then. Uh, it's gotten a little bit beat up since, uh, along the way. It, I mean, it was already a used book when I picked it up. Uh, but um, my uh, young daughter has taken an interest in it and was, was uh, flipping through it and was, uh, yeah, the, the, the part here is um, missing. But that's okay because the part that's missing is uh, not actually the main text. That's, uh, let me see. That's uh, the preview for Harriet Spies Again, which is one of the sequels. Although according to Wikipedia, well, I was looking this up on Wikipedia. There were apparently three sequels published by the author that were, were not as well received as the original. And then Harriet Spies Again, I think, was published in like 2002. Uh, I, this, I was looking this up on Wikipedia and I didn't even realize this because I haven't really been paying attention to, I guess, th th this type of media since I was a kid. Uh, but th this has been like turned into a movie in the 90s and it was turned into some sort of television show, I think, in the 2000s. Um, actually, one of the, 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 this book went missing from my shelves and my sister-in-law, who, who's staying with us, who's in her early 20s, had snagged it from my shelves when she saw it. And I think maybe she is young enough that maybe she she associates it with um, the, those uh, TV shows or, or movies from the 90s or 2000s, um, which, which may have been her interest in it. Uh, so for a while it was missing because it was on my sister-in-law's shelves, but I've reclaimed it now from my own shelf. Um, and yeah, I, I am, was, was just starting it just now. I'm about 10 pages into it now and f finding the, not quite sure what to make of it, but, but finding the dialogue really snappy and, uh, pretty funny. Um, I don't know if any of it's worth quoting. I, I'm not going to quote it at this point. Uh, but, but the, just within the first 10 pages, finding the, the, the dialogue pretty snappy it moves at a, a quick pace and pretty funny um harriet herself is 11 years old uh and i think in portrayed as being what in sixth grade or something I forget uh i'm not sure what the target audience for this book would be and again i'm not sure at what age it was read to me in elementary school maybe it was our sixth grade teacher who read it i don't remember I don't remember, but um, I, you know, this isn't the kind of book I usually read, but I, I do have it in mind to try and be more omnivorous in my reading, and I also have it uh, along with that goal, uh, would, would like to go and re revisit all the cl childhood classics that I haven't read for, for 30 or 40 years now. Uh, just part of as my rereading project. Um, now I'm out in Vietnam here, so uh, some of these, like um, a lot of the books I remember from childhood, I don't see on the shelves. But uh, this one I saw on the shelves, uh, vaguely remembered it, like I said, uh, and snatched it up. And uh, it's been waiting on my shelves now for a year. But I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna move this in now and try to knock this off quickly. And then try and uh, make it a goal for the second half of the year to, to go through some of the other easy reads on my bookshelves and knock off a number of, of the easy reads. And we'll see how well I do on that. But um, yeah, this is my next project.